You're gonna do a burnout? Burnout. Burnout? Burnout. A lot of smoke? A lot of smoke. Okay, let's do it. Yep. So last weekend at the drag strip, I had a little issue with this Shelby GT350 with the Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger. This car here has around 900 horsepower at the moment. That's at the crank, 800 at the wheel or so, and 93 pump gas. What I didn't realize when I took this car to the track is I filled it up at a cheaper gas station and I get, I'm guessing that maybe I had you know bad fuel or something as well. But the other issue I had was right after I did a burnout at the drag strip um, and then I took off first gear was fine this when I started switching the second gear uh, something went wrong and later when I checked codes the code was for st stuck throttle body it was stuck closed so I contacted Dustin Whipple Dustin's awesome by the way and he told me right away well he asked me he's like when you install the kit did you put the gasket on the throttle body and I'm like yes I did it came with the kit I wanted to put it on I wanted to install it hundred percent just like it is on the manual and he said remove that gasket and just put some silicone or gasket maker instead of it his thing is his idea is that the throttle gets stuck on the gasket on the inside so what I want to do now is I'm gonna remove the throttle body and see. I'm gonna remove this hose first and see if it actually is getting stuck on the gasket or not. But I will regardless remove the gasket and put some um, gasket maker that I have here. Uh, this is what I'll use. He said to use a very small amount. So if you've had this problem, this is probably your fix. Remove the gasket, put this ultra black gasket maker instead and hopefully that fixes my problem also tomorrow i'm finally getting my nittos for the rear which i'm excited about but right now the temperature is like 20 degrees outside so no drag strip this weekend so let me remove this and see what it looks like how is this coolant always low like i top it off all the time and it's low So I checked that out, right? And it's not hitting the gasket or anything. And I just talked to Dustin Whipple again. Keep bugging him because this is, you know, his kit. He knows best. And I was like, well, the gasket's not in the way or anything. And he goes, well, the gasket makes the housing flex. And what happens is then it gets stuck. So he's like, get rid of the gasket ASAP. So. Thanks to Dustin, that's what I'm about to do, and I won't have any problems with the throttle body anymore. Also, I just found something. I installed this kit myself, and I have videos on installation, right? And I've put probably you know, 3,000 miles on it so far. This is what I noticed. The boot was pinched. So, I'm not sure how I wasn't getting... Um, like any kind of codes for this because it was pinched like this obviously i was getting extra air and so hopefully this will fix something else i mean i didn't notice any kind of issues and i didn't have any codes but this is crazy i mean i've checked double time like double triple checked and uh i didn't see anything but so just watch out make sure you don't pinch it like i did is the, I guess that's how it was. I mean, I doubt it just happened now. I don't know, whatever. Let's get the throttle body off and so it dries up 
so the silicone dries up before um, I drive this because I have no other ride. I don't know what I would do without power tools. I used to hate power tools, but. Now I can't live without power tools. Just saves so much time using power tools. All right, so there's the gasket. what the inside of the supercharger looks like it's dark in there and scary but here's the gasket that comes with the kit and Dustin Whipple said to toss it in the trash and use silicone so that's what I will be doing There's a better look inside the supercharger. You can see the rotors, sort of. And that's where the magic happens. That's where all the horses are made. So the surface on the supercharger is uh, very flat and so is this. So um, you just have to use a very small amount of gasket maker just to get the seal right doesn't have to be a lot they'll make a mess but just a very small amount Let's see if I can do this what the heck Alright, as you can see, I put a very, very small amount of gasket maker on there. So, flat surfaces, it's going to be perfect and it won't smear everywhere. Make sure you get it all over your hands like I did. Because otherwise, you know, you're not doing it right if you don't get it on your hands. So, I'm going to reapply this. I don't know if I should wait, you know, 15, 20 minutes for it to dry a little bit. I think I'm just gonna slap it on and torque it down and give it an hour or two before I start it. Make sure your surface is clean and smooth. Cause there was a little bit of a, ga a gasket like residue or something left on there. So just scrape it off with your fingernail or a razor blade but try not to like scuff it up and then well I'm gonna put some Loctite on the bolts that's what I did last time I don't want anything to vibrate off just a little bit won't hurt these engines like to vibrate a lot. So then you take this guy here. And let's see. Man, I don't want to make a mess. So what I'm doing is I'm just starting all the bolts. I haven't pushed it up against 
the supercharger yet because I don't want it to smear so I'm holding it back you know, about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch or whatever I want to start all the bolts and then evenly slide it up against the supercharger I think that's going to be the best thing alright so I got all four bolts started and I'm just going to slide it up against it boom just like that I don't remember the torque on this and I don't want to look for the manual so gonna tighten it by play or ear whatever you want to call it maybe I should have put some more silicone I don't see any coming out but I think we'll be all right It's crazy, who would have thought that this housing can flex, you know what I mean? Like, I've never even thought about that. Alright. Okay, so plug it back in. Boom. Originally at the track, I thought what happened was maybe my belt snapped and ripped the wires. You know, they're, they're zip tied out of the way, but anything can happen. You know, the wire goes right behind the pulleys and everything. I thought maybe I just cut my wire or something, but all right. So the gasket is gone and, and the throttle body is back on the supercharger. Just gonna put the boot back on, and also I ordered uh, a foreskin adapter. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna hook up to the car and activate my boost gauge. Um, I read somewhere that it's possible. Uh, I downloaded the app or the program foreskin. I got the adapter off Amazon for 50 bucks. So I'm gonna hook that up and try to mess with it and see if I can activate the boost gauge because I always wanted a boost gauge in here and if I can get the OEM one to work, that'd be awesome. So let me put this boot back on and go from there. You're gonna do a burnout? Burnout. Burnout? Burnout. A lot of smoke? A lot of smoke. Okay, let's do it. Yep. <laughs> Chinese battery dies, throw a booster box on it.
lot of smoke? I'm not smoke. smoke. R.I.P. tires. Oh, there's still plenty of life. Wow, what a difference a tire can make. This, these tires are awesome so far, I love them. I just gotta break them in really nice and hopefully the weather's gonna be nice soon so I could go back to the drag strip. There's my old tires right there, some of it. Uh, there's more down the driveway, but those Michelins were just, you know, not gripping anymore. They're original tires from 2016 car has you know 16,000 miles on it so the tires were still decent but they were old but these right here they grip so good and they're warm now because I did a little burnout leaving discount tire but discount tire always comes through and uh, they hook it up they especially the one on airport road in Arden North Carolina I always go go back to them because they you know it's I've been using them for over six years and uh, I have no complaints. They always know what they're doing and they recommend the right tires. So in the back I have uh, the, the drag tires and in the front I have these new uh, BF Goodrich, uh, what is it? I think it's G, G Force, yeah, G Force or something like that. But this is like an all season tire, but in the back I wanted more traction. And I read that they're actually decent in the rain as well. So we'll see how they do. And uh, I can't wait to go back to the drag strip and see what I can do uh, in an eighth of a mile now. Now that I have uh, something to compare to. So, all right, stay tuned. The burnout was like almost two days ago and it still smells like smoke in this car. It's crazy but anyway I want to see if I can uh, get foreskin hooked up and activate my boost gauge see all, all the I have all these gauges here uh, like when I click on it it's an actual gauge like a digital gauge for everything so voltage even it's an actual gauge so what I want to do is I want to add a boost gauge and I think it's possible because I think the clusters are the same EcoBoost Mustang or Shelby or GT they're all the same so if I can activate the gauge on here that'd be awesome so let's give that a try I've never used Forescan before I got this um, adapter from Amazon that was 50 bucks and it comes with some instructions here so what I did was I downloaded the Forescan on my Windows computer and I'm not sure what this is what's happening okay there's some I guess uh, things downloading automatically so I'll give it some time but uh, there's actually a, a YouTube video on how to activate the boost gauge so hopefully it works out for me I'm not sure but I'll give it a try. Well, it looks like it's not gonna work out for me today to activate the boost gauge because of the custom tune that I have on here from Whipple. Um, I'm not able to communicate with the, the ECU or ECM. So I'm gonna do some more research and see if I can go around it somehow, but it's all good. This is uh, just something I want extra to uh, have a boost gauge showing up on my dash but I'll figure something out until next time later